everyone, I'm Anthony. Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Quick Phonetics. Learn the basic sounds of the English language and practice your pronunciation with this quick lesson focusing on some specific phonetic symbols. Learn new words by reading from these symbols and increase your vocabulary the right way with the correct pronunciation of your new words. Okay, unit or lesson 19. Uh, we are going to look at uh, a couple of different symbols today. Uh, as always, we have a uh, consonant uh, and then another vowel, a vowel sound. This is a consonant. We have the vi violet color. This is a little bit difficult sound. Um, it's the R sound. Uh, we see it in the words read, ready, return, repeat. Okay, so let's see how this letter or this symbol sounds. Uh, we saw above read read rude it's a long letter we see the underlining here ready ready sorry sorry carry carry return return all right let's look at the vowel symbol this is a short diphthong we don't have underlined letters here it's uh, just a kind of a glide and this entire sentence demonstrates the sound oh no don't go home joe oh no, don't, don't go home, home, Joe. Let's look at these a little closer. First of all, the vowel sound, uh, the consonant is in approximant. Approximants occur when one articulator moves close to another, but not close enough to cause friction or to stop the airflow. The sounds represented by these symbols r, w, y, are approximants and are important linking sounds in connected speech. Very, very important sounds. Okay, we'll look at these a little closer. Here we have the r. The r is a post alveolar sound as the tongue tip is held just behind not touching the alveolar ridge the back rims of the tongue touch the upper molars the soft palate is raised R is voiced okay you see just before the alveolar ridge the tongue comes up and turns a little bit back uh, it's just before the ridge, uh, it uh, forms a passage here. It does not click. We don't have a r r r r. r. It's not clicking. It's relaxed. R. It's a long sound. You can even open your mouth a little bit if you look. R r r. r. The change of the sound is due to my lips. They're not natural, open. It's not uh, an open sound. Uh, let's look at some more uh, letters or some no more words. We have red, hurry, party, and car. Okay, these two last ones, these are pronounced uh, when we have rhotic ans accents, so more American, uh, some Irish, uh, party, 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 car, car, party, party, car. That would be the other 
uh, possibility. Uh, and so, uh, the rhotic is when we have the sound after, okay, the, the car, uh, if I say car animal, car animal, we have definitely the R is heard in any accent. Okay, here's the O sound, O, this is a glide, begins in the position Swa, schwa, which is in the middle, and then moves up and back towards the U sound. Uh, you can see this here. We have the schwa, which is characteristically neutral. It's really not a, an articulated sound. It's more uh, of air coming from your stomach. Uh, uh, uh. And slowly the mouth forms a kind of a U. Oh, oh. So the lips are neutral. They change to uh, starting out neutral. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So the last part is rounded, loosely rounded. Okay. We have sounds like go, snow, toast, home, hello. This is characteristic. Hello. Although, although, okay, so let's do some practice with some words now. First one, John, Joan, Bone, Born, Rome, Smoke. Cherry, borrow, tours, toes, those, roses. Okay, identification and and did identific uh, identification exercise sixteen. I'm going to say one of these four row uh, four words, and you try to identify which word I'm saying. Okay, here's the first one: R road, R road. Okay, the R's should be underlined. Okay, this is a mistake. There there should be underlined in all of the, uh, the the sounds. So this is road here, road with the underlined letter. Sorry about that. Two, rod, rod. Okay, that's the correct sound. Number three, caught, caught. Okay, that's the correct sound. And number four, coat, coat. That's the correct sound. Very good. Number five, won't, won't. Okay, that's correct. And the last one. Joe, Joe, very good. Okay, let's take home some vocabulary, all right? Listen, read, and repeat. Read, rude, ready, sorry, carry, Return, no, don't, go, home, Joe, snow, toast, hello, although, Joan, John, Bone, Born, 
roam, smoke, sorry, cherry, tours, toes, those, roses, hurry, party, car, go, red, borrow. Okay. So, you have the words below. You can uh, look in the description. You can copy and paste. If you're not sure what one of those words means, you can uh, copy and paste it into your translator, your favorite tan translator. Remember that you can subscribe below, hit the notification button if you want to receive the emails for the, uh, for the next uh, uh, lessons. And uh, thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.